Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math video on quickly memorizing the unit circle. This is going to be useful for anyone who's taking pre-calculus or trigonometry or anyone who needs a refresher. But it's imperative that you also know how to derive the coordinates by yourself. So please watch our other videos in the unit circle series on our Center of Math YouTube page. So in order to quickly memorize this, we're going to assume, I'm going to assume that you know both the angles uh, the, the angles of the unit circle in both degrees and radians already. And now I'm going to define a couple of quick facts. So we know that the radius of our circle equals 1. And in order to quickly memorize, we're also going to be drawing some triangles. And our triangles are going to have sides with short lengths, which will always mean a side length of 1 half. We're also going to be drawing lines with a medium length, which will equate to the square root of 2 over 2 as their length, and lines of long length, which will always have a value of the square root of 3 over 2. And so let's get started over here. To uh, memorize our coordinates, we are first going to define where our coordinates will be positive and negative. So we've got an x and y axis on our Cartesian system here. Uh, and so anywhere to the right of the y axis, our x's are going to be positive. And anywhere above the x axis, our y's are going to be positive. So in our first quadrant here, we know that our, our coordinate values are always going to be positive x's and positive y's. Over here in our second quadrant, we're always going to have negative x values because we're on the negative side of the y-axis, but our y values are still always going to be positive. Over here in our third quadrant, we have both negative x values and negative y values. And in the fourth quadrant, we have positive x values, but negative y values. And we can start by labeling off our four easiest coordinates. You can always get those. So over here, we know that our radius has a length of one unit. And so we've moved one unit to the right on the x-axis, and we haven't moved at all in the y direction. So our coordinate is 1, 0. Up here, we've moved positive 1 in the y direction, but we've had no movement in the x direction. So our coordinate is 0, positive 1. Over here, our coordinate is simply negative 1, 0. And down here at 270 degrees, our coordinate will be 0, negative 1. And now let's start with our triangles. So first we're going to find the coordinate value of pi over 6 radians or 30 degrees. So let's draw a triangle here. I'm drawing over the radian and degree values, but that's okay. So we've got a really long line here on our base of our triangle, which is always going to be on the x-axis. So a long line, if we look back over our rules, a long line always equates to a length of square root of 3 over 2. So our x-coordinate is going to be square root of 3 over 2. And our y-coordinate, well, our, our vertical line is very short. And so that's going to be 1 half, if we remember our rules from over here. So our coordinate for pi over 6 radians, or 30 degrees, is square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. And I'm going to erase our triangle to avoid more messes. And let's find the coordinate for pi over 4 radians. So we've got two equal pretty medium length lines and so that equates to a coordinate of square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. And both of them are positive. I'm going to rewrite that. It's a little bit messy. Square root of 2 over 2, comma, root 2 over 2. And now let's find the coordinate system, the coordinate value for pi over 3 radians at 60 degrees. So remember, we always keep our base, the base of our triangle, on the x axis. Our line on the x-axis is very short this time. So we know that our x-coordinate is going to be 1 half. And our vertical line that 
is parallel to the x to the y axis, excuse me, is going to be very long and it'll be a square root of 3 over 2. Now let's just jump over to 5 pi over 4 and see what this system works like. Uh, see how this system works when one, of, when one or more of the coordinates is negative. So we'll draw our triangle in the same way, keeping one of our bases on the x-axis. We've got two medium length lines, and so we know that we've got both negative coordinates. And so at 5 pi over 4 radians, our coordinate is going to be negative root 2 over 2 comma negative root 2 over 2. And you can use this system to find the rest of your coordinates really quickly and easily. But remember that it's also just as important to be able to derive the coordinates by yourself. And so in order to learn how to do that, please watch our trigonometry unit circle video. Thank you for watching and be sure to also visit our website, centerofmath.org, for pre-calculus textbooks and as well as other math resources.